Hello everyone. I am Aditi Arora from ABS Engineering College, Ghaziabad. In today's video lecture, we will be continuing Unit 2, Process Synchronization from the Subject Operating System. So the outline of today's lecture will be test and set lock mechanism, which is basically a synchronization mechanism that we can use uh, to uh, make sure that when multiple processes are concurrently executing uh, in their critical section, then they must be synchronized. And it is also a, a one of the solution for critical section problem. So basically, test and set is a hardware based solution. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the Peterson solution, which was the software based solution. But test and set is a hardware based solution to the critical section problem. And here in this solution, we have only one shared variable that is lock variable whose value can be zero and whose value can be one. Zero means it is unlocked and one means it is locked or we can say when the lock value is zero it is unlocked that means no process has acquired the lock and no process is currently executing in the critical section whereas when the value of the lock variable is one and it is locked that means some process is currently executing in the critical section by setting the lock value to one right also we can say lock when value zero it means that it can be false it can be initialized to false also and when lock value one that means it can be initialized to true so zero corresponds to false and one corresponds to true also it executes in the user mode now what do you mean by that so basically here in the implementation of this solution there is no interference from the kernel side right operating system has nothing to do with its implementation just with the help of api uh, it can be executed in the user mode and another important point is that it is designed to work with multiple processes if you remember the peterson solution that we discussed in the previous video it was basically used for the synchronization among only two processes but here synchronization can be achieved among multiple processes using the test and set instruction mechanism so here uh, one word is test and one word is test set. Now let us understand this. So what is test? Before entering the critical section, a process needs to inquire about the log, right? Log ki value ko sabse pehle check karega process, theek hai? Agar to wo locked hai, yani ki kisi aur process ni already us log ko acquire kiya hua hai, then that process will keep on waiting till it become free. And set ka kya matlab hai? If the log is unlocked, means the value is zero right now, means no process has acquired the value of log and currently executing in critical section, there is no such process, then the process who wants to enter the critical section will take the log, set the value of log to one and then execute in its critical section. Here, there is a code written with the help of which we will understand uh, test and set mechanism. So here we will discuss two cases. First case, when there is no preemption, right? Say for example, uh, okay, uh, firstly, the initial value of the lock variable will be zero. That means it is false or we can say it is unlocked. Nobody has locked, no process has locked it till yet. So there is a do while loop and whenever a process want to enter the critical section, first of all, it will execute this entry section code, right? 
So here there is a while condition. Now the process, say for example, process P0 want to enter the critical section. So it will check the value of lock, which is already zero. So zero is equal to one, which is false. As soon as this while condition becomes false, the condition uh, break and the process P0, process P0 will set the value of lock variable as one and enter the critical section. Right now, after completing the critical section, then the process P0 will set the lock value to zero or we can say false and then uh, will go into the remainder section. Right. But what if uh, during the execution of P0 in critical section, one more process that is P1 also wants to enter the critical section. So we will see whether P1 will be allowed to enter the critical section or not right so currently the value of lock is one which is being set by process p0 so here when process p1 will see this while condition he will get the value as one so one equal to equal to one now this while condition become true and the process p1 will trap here indefinitely in this loop right the process p1 will not be able to make this condition false and come into the critical section so here we can easily see that when no process is getting preempted then mutual exclusion can be easily guaranteed right when one process p0 was executing in the critical section p1 was unable to enter the critical section so mutual exclusion is there it is preserved but condition is there is no preemption occurring here in the first case right I hope you have understood. Now we will discuss the case two that is when preemption can occur. Now when preemption can occur let us understand. Okay now for case two see if process P0 arrives first and it sees the value of lock variable as 0. So it will compare 0 with 1 and it will get false and it will immediately set the lock variable as 1 and enter into the critical section, right? Earlier we said this for case 1. But what if when just immediately after executing instruction number 1 means only testing part is done right when process p not only test for the lock variable that what is the value of lock variable and just before setting the lock variable to one the process p not gets preempt here between instruction one and two right so when the process p not will preempt immediately other process will try say for example process p not come and try to access the critical section so philhal uh, abhi process p1 ko bhi kaun si value milegi lock ki that is zero and zero not equal to not equal to one again it will be false so process p1 will set the value of lock as one right process p not ne sirf abhi lock ki value ko test kiya and then wo preempt ho gaya theek hai then process P1 ne lock ki value ko test bhi kiya. Thikhe, test karne par usse lock ki value kya mili? False mili. And jaysay hi usse lock ki value false mili, usne lock ki value ko acquire kar liya. That means true kar liya. Or we can say lock kar liya. Right. And process P1 enters the critical section. Now, uh, suppose P0 comes back and want to enter the critical section. So now P0 will resume its execution from the second instruction, right? And it will again set the value of lock as 1. Lock ki value already 1 kisne set ki hui thi process P1 ne. P0 jaise hi aya, wo fir se is lock ki value ko override karega aur again isse 1 kar dega and process P0 will also enter in the critical section at the same time. So this is not allowed. This is not synchronization. So here we can see that case 2 is a situation where whenever a process uh, preempts immediately after reading the lock variable but not setting the lock variable, mutual exclusion is not guaranteed. So uh, 
to ensure that even when preemption is there, still we need to uh, ensure, still we need to preserve mutual exclusion. So for that, we have the test and set instruction that we will be uh, discussing in the next slide. Now we will understand uh, how this uh, test and set instruction can be implemented in order to have the mutual exclusion preserved when even there is preemption. So here, please see this first instruction. This is very important. Here we have combined both the operations that is test and set into a single atomic instruction. So there is no chance that the process uh, can preempt in between uh, testing and the setting of the value of the lock variable. So here, if process P0 comes, first it will execute the test and set function in the while condition. So here is the definition of test and set function. Here we have used ampersand lock, that means we are using call by reference. So here, actually what the uh, uh, default value of uh, lock is set, that is only returned by this function. This is a simple uh, code written. So here, if process P0 checks for the value of log, it will get log as false, that is 0, and it will set the value of log as 1 and enter into the critical section, right? Now, whenever any other process will try to enter into the critical section, again, the process will come to this while statement. And in the while statement, again, it will execute the test and set function. And here, the value uh, will be returned as true to the other process that is P0. So when the value of true is returned to process P1 here, it will be uh, keep on looping here in finite times. It, the process P1 will be trapped here. It will not be able to enter the critical section. So here we can easily see that mutual exclusion is guaranteed, right? Even if the process gets preempts in between. Why? Because the process is executing the test and set operations in a single, uh, in a single go, right? In an, this is basically an atomic operation, but not two separate instructions, right? Earlier, one instruction was set and other instruction was, uh, one instruction was test and other instruction was set. So there was a chance for a process to get preempted in between the execution of these two instructions. But here, uh, we have combined both these instructions into a single atomic operation. So the, there will be mutual exclusion guaranteed. Now, when we discussed the Peterson solution, we discussed that for any uh, solution to critical section problem, uh, three conditions uh, must be satisfied, mutual exclusion, progress, and bounded weight. And in uh, Peterson solution, we have seen that uh, all these instructions are getting uh, satisfied. But now let us discuss that whether all these three instructions are also satisfied in uh, test and set mechanism. Let us see. So we have already seen through the previous example that mutual exclusion is guaranteed in uh, test and set uh, lock mechanism because a process can never be preempted just before setting the lock variable because we have now using the atomic operations, right? We have combined test and set operations into a single uh, instruction. So there is no chance of preemption of a process here. So only one process can see the lock variable as zero at a particular time and hence the mutual exclusion is definitely guaranteed and it is definitely preserved. Now, coming to discuss progress. So according to the definition of progress, a process which does not want to enter the critical section should not stop other process to enter into it, right? So progress kya kehta hai ki agar koi process hai jo critical section mein nahi jana chahata hai but koi aur dusra process hai jo critical section mein jana chahata hai then it should be allowed to enter into the critical section. No one, no other process should stop a process willing to enter the critical 
section. Now, uh, in uh, test and set mechanism, a process will execute the TSR instruction only when it wants to get into the critical section. So, when a process to critical section, it will execute the test and set instruction. And execute the lock ki value hai, usko by default, we will get zero. Hi milegi. कब जब कोई प्रोसेस ऑलरेडी क्रिटिकल सेक्शन में नहीं है तो जैसे ही उसे लॉक की वेरिएबल लॉक वेरिएबल की वैल्यू 0 0 मिलेगी टेस्ट एंड सेट इंस्ट्रक्शन को एग्जीक्यूट करते हुए उस लॉक की वैल्यू को वो इमीडिएटली वन सेट करेगा और क्रिटिकल सेक्शन को एक्सेस कर लेगा राइट right? सो so यहां से हम देख सकते हैं कि प्रोग्रेस भी हमेशा गारंटीड है टेस्ट एंड सेट मैकेनिज्म में So coming to the third requirement that is bounded weighting. Bounded weighting is not guaranteed in TSL because some process might not get chance for a so long. This is a possibility that there can be that there is a process that is infinite time for the uh, critical section. We uh, can't predict that when a particular process will critical section or when it will not get it. Right? So, uh, it is not So, it is deadlock free but it may cause starvation. Starvation means when a process is waiting for too long to get into the critical section and it also suffers from a spin lock this is the disadvantage of tsl so the concluding remarks for today's lecture is that test and set lock mechanism is basically a hardware based uh, mechanism for process synchronization or we can say it is a solution to a uh, uh, critical section problem and it satisfies mutual exclusion progress but not bounded waiting these are the references from where we have prepared the content. Thank you.